What's up everyone? I'm your female otaku and I'm here to review chapter 34 of The Promised Neverland. And for those of you who kept on bugging me on when the chapter 33 Promised Neverland review was coming out, it's not. I don't know how Norman was able to think up of what a burning human would smell like, but he did! Norman was able to figure out Ray's plan and how Ray was going to sacrifice himself, but Norman wants Emma to be happy and Emma wants everyone to be safe. So he came up with this elaborate plan for everyone to be able to escape. And again, I don't know how he was able to figure out how a burning human would smell, but he did and it was just a bunch of meat links, some clothes, and braids. That's how a burning human smells like, with a tad bit of ear. Magnifique. Norman wasn't only left with the William Minerva pen, but he was also left a key mold. And I completely forgot that Crone said that she would give them the key and just all the tools that they would need, and one of them being a key mold. So they were able to get more supplies because of this master key. Not only that, but Norman thought way ahead. Back when he and Emma had a conversation with Crone, they told four children the secret and they listened in on the conversation. So I can understand, I will not fight you if Norman is your best boy, if you believe that Norman is the god of the Promised Neverland. Personally, Ray is still mine. I will never give up on Ray, but Norman is an absolute boss. I don't hate Norman. <laughs> no, he's, he's still amazing, and I'm proud of the boy. You see, here's the sad thing, though. Now that Norman got to shine, this really let us on with Emma and her uh, brilliance, because, you know, we thought that she came up with everything. We thought that she was, you know, going in, when really she's just carry on through with everything that Norman told her to do. Emma didn't really think up of anything except for telling a couple of the kids and then it just went on from there. That That's it. Everything else was Norman's plan on, you know, how to escape and uh, how to save Ray. So that's kind of disappointing. In a way, Emma still hasn't developed like we thought she did. So a lot of people have been on this theory for a really long time that Isabella is on the kid's side and that she was, you know, just just coaxing them, being, being you know, the, the bad guy to them to make the kids escape and then Isabella will later on join them. Like, this was all her master plan. Honestly, I never really believed in that theory and this chapter was, was a done deal for me because Isabella is mad and she is going to capture those kids. So for those of you who still believe or did believe in that theory, let me know if you still do believe in it or not or if you're a little on the fence as of this chapter because Isabella does not look like she's on the kids side. No, she's got her suitcase. She's done with the house. She's all like, the kids are all alive? I'm not gonna let a single one of them escape. So yeah, that sealed the deal for me. Okay, Phil. Everyone has been on about Phil. Now I knew Phil was a genius, okay? We, we all knew Phil was a genius. However, a lot of people were on the side that Phil is an evil genius. And everyone was freaking out how he was not in last week's chapter. And it's a good thing you did. <laughs> oh, for those of you who freaked out, it's a good thing you did. Because Phil is still back at the house with Isabella. Why? He has that big old grin and everything. Why? Okay, now I'm scared. <laughs> I was never scared before. I, I just thought that, okay, if anything happened to Ray, Phil will be the next god. But I don't think that's the case anymore. <laughs> Phil just might be an evil genius. Huh. Um, why is he still there? Hmm? Phil's a smart kid. He's a very intelligent kid, okay? Um, uh, why is he still there? What is he planning? I know a couple things that people have been suggesting is that maybe Phil is actually a demon or he is working for the demons. Perhaps he's just been a spy this entire time for HQ. Hmm, I don't really know, but if he was a spy for HQ, why would he show Emma the the Morse code? Because, you know, he was the one that figured that out. I don't really know. Something's up with Phil. I don't know what it is. Is Phil even human? I don't freaking 
know. Let me know your thoughts and theories on Phil, your thoughts and theories on, on uh, Isabella, how you feel about Emma, Do you, are you disappointed in her that she hasn't developed yet, or are you just really proud of Norman and the escape? is happening guys. The question is, will they be stopped short or will members be lost? I personally think that members will be lost. They have to be lost, right? There's no way they can save everyone. I'm still on that. There's absolutely no way. And if everyone does survive, I'm gonna be very disappointed, honestly. So again, just let me know your overall thoughts and theories on this chapter and catch you later as I review Kabuki Boo and Rage of Bahamut Virgin Soul. I'm your female Otaku, Sayonara.